conditional probability using a table. In the last lesson, we looked to see how we could compute probabilities of certain events happening. This time, we're going to look at slightly more complicated problems. We're going to look at information that's summarized in a table. Here's an example. We took a survey and found out of the 262 students who were polled, whether or not they drank diet soda and whether they were male or female. Here are our responses. 72 females said no, they did not drink diet soda. 58 said they did. In all, there were 130 females. There were 96 males who said no, they don't prefer diet soda. 36 do prefer diet soda for a total of 132. And you see there were 168 people in all said no, they don't prefer diet soda. 94 said yes, they do. And again, our total was 262. Now, if we were to choose a person from the survey at random, what is the probability that the person was a female? Well, we need to look at the total number of females, which is 130, and we're going to divide that by the total number of people in the survey. And so we're going to have 130 out of 262. That's the fraction of people who answered the survey who were females. It's also the probability that we would choose a female. We're also going to write these as decimals rounded to three decimal places. And so when we divide this, 130 divided by 262, we get 0.496. Now let's say we chose a person from the survey at random and we wanted to know the probability the person preferred a diet soda. Well this time we're going to look at the where it says yes, they do prefer a diet soda. That would be 94 people out of the 262. So our probability is 94 out of 162 and in your exercises you'll be asked to round this off as a decimal to the nearest thousandth to three decimal places. This comes out to be 0.359. Now let's say we chose a person from the survey at random. We wanted to find the probability the person was a female who preferred diet soda. This time we'll have to look at the female column and the yes row. There were 58 females who preferred diet sodas and in all in our survey there were 262 people so our probability of choosing a female who preferred diet soda is 58 out of 262 which is a decimal uh, is 0.221. Conditional probability narrows things down a little bit. This is a definition that you will see in your statistics class, but we just wanted to flash it on the screen here for you just a minute. We won't use this notation, but this thing here is read the probability of B given A. We're going to narrow down to things that are given. Let's look at some examples of what this is talking about. Back to our survey again. Let's suppose we chose a survey respondent at random and we want to find the probability the person is female given they preferred diet soda. Now this given they prefer diet soda changes our denominator so that we only look at the people who preferred diet soda. So we are only looking at the yes row and I kind of messed that up but anyway these are these people here. The people who said yes to diet soda there are 94 of those and those who are female there are 58 of those and so the probability that the person is female given they prefer diet soda is 98 or 58 rather out of 94 or 0.617. Now let's contrast that with this next question which at first looks very similar. Let's find the probability the person preferred a diet soda given that the person is female. Well this time saying given the person is female means we are going to restrict ourselves just to looking at the female column. So now our denominator is going to be 130 because there were only 130 females. And then we look at the ones who say yes they prefer diet soda and there's that familiar number of 58. So the probability that a person preferred diet soda given the person is female is 58 out of 130 which is 0.446. Now let's 
go through this again. Let's find the probability the person preferred diet soda given the person the female ugh, given that the person is male. Well this time we are looking at the male column. There were 132 people who were male. That's the given part. That's our denominator. Out of those 132, the ones who preferred diet soda, those were 36 of them. So the probability that a person from the survey chosen at random is someone who prefers diet soda given that the person is male is 36 out of 132 or as a decimal that's 0.273. Finally, let's look at this question. Let's find the probability the person did not prefer diet soda given that the person is male. So again, we're going to need to look at the male the male list there, the male column, there were 132 males and out of those 132 males there were 96 who did not prefer diet soda. So our probability of getting a male who does not prefer diet soda given the person's male is 96 out of 132 or as a decimal that is 0.727. Now if you need more Examples like this, look for the longer version of this lecture.